I'm Jim Jaggers. The fans and family of Vernon Presley are mourning his death. We'll talk to his family and examine his life coming up next on the 10 o'clock update of Eyewitness News. Deep Good evening. I'm Jim Jaggers at Graceland Mansion. Fans here in Memphis and all over the world are mourning the death of Vernon Presley, the father of the late rock and roll star Elvis Presley. The 63-year-old Presley died this morning at Baptist Hospital at 9.20. This is the same hospital Elvis died in almost two years ago. A team of doctors worked over the elder Presley for more than an hour. But hospital officials say his heart simply failed. He's been in and out of the hospital several times because of his heart. The death is being mourned by fans and family alike. I spoke with a member of the Presley family tonight. Presley was Vernon's second wife. They were divorced in 1977 but not before 13 years of what Mrs. Presley describes as a happy marriage. And he was the strongest man I think I've ever known. I think that, uh, that he, well, he just gave Elvis everything, his, his life, you know. He lived for Elvis. And, uh, of course, that's the way that I would have had it. But he was the greatest and strongest man that I've ever met. Mrs. Presley says it was Vernon's touring with his son that put a strain on their relationship, but she admits Elvis belonged to his fans. And in a way, so did Vernon after Elvis's death. They loved Elvis, but they seemed to really love Vernon extremely well also. And uh, the people have suffered along with Vernon um, after Elvis's death and have been, he's been very kind to the fans and very considerate in that he has had open Graceland for the fans to be able to, to come in and see. So I think that they are very saddened. And I think this is probably about the loneliest day of my life. Jim Jaggers on the Night Beat for Channel 13. Eyewitness News. Mr. Presley will be buried beside his son and his wife on the Graceland grounds. At last report, that private funeral is scheduled for 11 o'clock Thursday morning. Vernon Presley's death leaves only his mother, Minnie Mae Presley, and granddaughter, Lisa Marie, as heirs to the fortune accumulated by Elvis. Presley was administrator of Elvis' estate, last valued at $7,600,000. That task now falls to the trust department of a Memphis laid to rest. Debbie Pheasanton and photographer Bruce Brown were at Graceland this morning for the funeral. The mood inside the gates of Graceland was somber as friends and family members gathered for the funeral. Vernon Presley died Tuesday morning of heart failure at the age of 63. Sheriff's deputies were patrolled around the mansion to make sure there would be no interruptions. The service was held inside Graceland about 11 a.m. The only music was recorded religious songs sung by Vernon's son, Elvis. An hour later, the casket was moved outside. City Mayor Wyeth Chandler, County Mayor Bill Morris, Sheriff Gene Barksdale, and County Clerk Dick Hackett were among the pallbearers. The casket was placed in a hearse and driven to the memorial gardens next to the house. The path was lined with funeral wreaths and flowers. Following were Vernon's second wife, Dee, Elvis's former wife, Priscilla, and Vernon's only grandchild, Lisa Marie. Vernon was buried next to Elvis and his first wife, Gladys Love. Officials say about 150 people attended. Outside, about as many fans were gathered. John Bennett was there. Outside the big iron gates of Graceland, the scene was only vaguely reminiscent of the events of nearly two years ago, the day Elvis Presley was buried here. Fans had gathered throughout the day, but a smaller crowd, an orderly crowd, all straining to see what was going on inside. I've been out here, uh, I was here a couple of times Tuesday and about a couple of times yesterday, so I've been out here close to about four or five times since uh, the death of Vernon Presley to early Tuesday morning. Some had come from other states, some from great distances. Many did not even know of Vernon Presley's death until they got here. They were disappointed the gates were closed. We had planned on visiting the grave tomorrow. But uh, as long as it's closed, why we'll have to go back home without seeing it. We're from Chicago, and we made the trip our annual vacation. Well, I've planned a trip to Graceland for the last year, 
to put flowers on Elvis's grave. We arrived Monday night, and of course, Vernon passed away on Tuesday. <laughs> so you weren't able to put those flowers in the grave? No, no flowers on Elvis's grave. Now I don't know if I ever will be able to or not. And according to Presley family members, the graveside area will be closed to all visitors for at least two or three weeks. Noticeably absent from the front of Graceland were the hucksters selling t-shirts, postcards, and jewelry. Today, only a paper boy selling copies of a newspaper with headlines of Vernon Presley's death. Today, all was quiet. John Bennett, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. The late Elvis Presley, Vernon Presley, has been laid to rest. He was buried today at Graceland. The mood inside the gates of Graceland was somber as friends and family members gathered for the funeral. Vernon Presley died Tuesday morning of heart failure at the age of 63. Sheriff's deputies were patrolled around the mansion to make sure there would be no interruptions. The service was held inside Graceland about 11 a.m. The only music was recorded religious songs, sung by Vernon's son, Elvis. An hour later, the casket was moved outside. City Mayor Wyeth Chandler, County Mayor Bill Morris, Sheriff Gene Barksdale, and County Clerk Dick Hackett were among the pallbearers. The casket was placed in a hearse and driven to the memorial gardens next to the house. The path was lined with funeral wreaths and flowers. Following were Vernon's second wife, Dee, Elvis's former wife, Priscilla, and Vernon's only grandchild, Lisa Marie. Vernon was buried next to Elvis and his first wife.